Hello, I'm Lauren Nadolsky, and I'm about to graduate from the TESOL and Intercultural Studies program. God often surprises us with change. Swift, beautiful, unexpected, and sometimes unwelcome change. Whatever you profess to be shocked and awed by, he has a habit of using the very antithesis of what you expected to take place to reveal to you what his heart and mind have been turned towards the whole time. In my time at Wheaton Graduate School, I've been shocked by what hasn't changed. Those lessons and revelations he's been showing me for years, although when I anticipated a rebirth in my spiritual life with my integration into the Wheaton community, what I ultimately found was more of the same striking lesson. I learned it in the events of orientation, where I sat at a table of women from around the world pursuing unique disciplines, but all sharing equally profound stories of how they got to where they are. I learned it by having my eyes open to the vast range of opportunities within my field, which I thought I'd known well before undertaking my studies here, but came to find that I was rather short-sighted. I learned it in a group project with students from Bosnia, Taiwan, Kazakhstan, Korea, and elsewhere, as the Holy Spirit guided our interpretation of scripture colliding with human behavior. I learned it in a professor's office, discussing the presence of the multicultural church in this very community and praying for the kingdom to come more fully. I learned it in a classroom of refugees and immigrants, each representing unique cultures and language groups, laughing together and honoring a student by sharing a happy birthday greeting in their own language. I learned it in my own home when my cohort welcomed my husband and I back from our honeymoon with a multicultural potluck and I tried savory Korean pancakes for the first time. As I reflect, it seems rather fitting to me that one of the things that brought me to Wheaton was that I seemed to encounter some connection with this school wherever I was in the world. The lesson that I keep learning is that there is fundamental beauty and unity in diversity. To learn and experience additional cultures, joys, and manifestations of our creator in this world is not to become more fragmented, but more whole. My cohort, which represents so many backgrounds and callings, has helped me to see God's face more fully. My professors, who have a near intimidating wealth of experience matched with an inspiring humility, have helped me to see God's face more fully. The connections I've made on and through this campus have helped and will continue to help me see God's face more fully. I'm grateful for every opportunity I've had through this institution to engage the kingdom of God, both as it is on earth and as it will be. Thanks to Wheaton, I'm leaving with a more full visage of who God is, less anemic after seeing our Lord through the eyes of new and diverse classmates and world-class experiences. The opportunities I've had here have helped me engage more with who we are to be as his image bearers. And I would encourage everyone who still has time here not to let those opportunities slip away. Thank you. Hi, I'm Laura Van Zant, and like Lauren, I'm also from the TESOL department. When I first came to Wheaton College, I thought I had made the worst mistake of my life. During the first day of orientation, I was shaking so bad that I overfilled my coffee cup, resulting in a burned hand. I'm not a fan of drinking black coffee, but by the grace of God, I somehow managed to drink that entire cup of coffee that day. Although I never had Dr. Canning as a professor, her words from orientation have been with me through the ups and downs of grad school. She told us during orientation that we would not be here if the administration didn't think we could make it through grad school. In a lot of ways, grad school is like running a marathon. You start out energetic, but when you hit the halfway point, you wonder, is it really worth it? After seeing your student loans, you really question God and say, is it worth it? <laughs> but then you see the finish line at the end and you know that it was worth every trial, every, tri uh, every trial, every triumph, and every sacrifice. I hope and pray that everyone has had the same experience I have had. My cohort has become my family and I could go to them with fears and doubts about classes or if I could be a successful teacher. I would be showered with, hu with hugs and they told me that being in the TESOL program was the right choice. They not only encouraged me but have inspired me to be, to be the best teacher I could be and for that I'm forever grateful to them. Within the entire INTR department, every professor has been very encouraging towards our goals, specifically Dr. Pearson and Dr. Seaman. 
They have not only taught my cohort skills to be better teachers, but they have also been concerned about our spiritual lives. Going to visit them for office hours is not just about academics, but also about our personal lives. Every meeting is concluded in prayer, and they have always been there for us. Wheaton has also provided me opportunities to go abroad. This last summer, I was able to teach uh, English to middle schoolers in Hong Kong, and while most people are intimidated by that, I have found my calling. Wheaton has also given me the opportunity to learn how to blend ministry into my vocation. Although I thought Wheaton College was the worst mistake of my life, it actually has been the biggest blessing. And now, as we prepare to go into the world, we will be living out the Wheaton College motto for Christ and his kingdom. We are going to be the bright lights in this dark world. So thank you, Wheaton College, for investing in our lives, our futures, and encouraging this generation of leaders. My name is Scott Moreau. I'm the interim dean of the graduate school, and it's my privilege to be able to recognize those who are completing their courses. So if I would have those who are going to be recognized, if you would stand up, and they will come across and receive from Dr. Riken uh, a wonderful folder, and I won't tell you the contents of the folder, but they're not their diplomas at this point in time. Uh, if you could stand there, that would be helpful. And this year we're going to note uh, two departmental awards. You will find the description of the awards in your inserts. I'm not going to read them. I'm not going to do anything other than note the student is the recipient of that award. And they will get a different sort of recognition in the departmental commissioning service. So we start with Bradley Cameron in Biblical Exegesis. Yan Chen, Biblical Exegesis. <laughs> Julia Damien, TESOL Intercultural Studies, and recipient of the Lana, uh, Lana Dickerson Award in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Wendy Chia, TESOL and Intercultural Studies. <laughs> Yuli Kurnia Tizingsi, sorry. I try as best I can. She is the winner of the Dolores Gallagher Memorial Award. Ethan Luno, Historical Theology. Lauren Nadolsky, TESOL in Intercultural Studies. Ludi Soon, TESOL in Intercultural Studies. Laura Vinzant, TESOL in Intercultural Studies. And then two, no, two more not in your program who happen to fit alphabetically perfectly. <laughs> Katie Williams, TESOL in Intercultural Studies. And Tim Jai, Intercultural Studies, TESOL. Thank you. 